Okay, let's get started creating our material. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is bring in a couple of textures, and I wanted to show you these textures inside of Photoshop. So here's our first one. This is what we're going to be using for the base of our diffuse color. You see it's just some bricks with some grout coloration. But if we take a look at its alpha channel, it's a darker version that's completely black and white, where the bricks are generally a dark gray, and the grout is black. Now, I'm not saying you'd have to create a brick texture in this manner, but I just wanted you to be aware of the information that is in the alpha channel because we're going to be making use of it a little bit later. Now let's also take a look at the normal map, which looks like a pretty typical normal map. It's got the multicolor generation which creates the various levels of bump, but if we take a look at his alpha channel, we have a height map variation of the exact same information. Now this is also going to be used as well, so again I just wanted to point it out beforehand. Okay, now back over here inside of Unreal. Let's begin in the content browser. I'm going to right click on one of the empty places anywhere in the main panel of the content browser and choose new material. I'm going to create a new package. Let's call this demo underscore materials. In the group, we'll put materials. And for the name, let's call this m underscore video demo. Actually, let's say brick demo. That's probably more descriptive. All right, so now we can press enter. And a couple of things happen. We get a brand new material here in the content browser. We also get the material editor opening up in the background, which is very convenient. So now we're completely ready to start editing. So the first thing I want to do is get our textures in here. So let's come into our package that we just created. And I'm going to click the import button. And here are our two textures. So there's wallstone blocks light and the normal map. Go ahead and bring those in. Now it's looking for some information. We're, here's the demo materials package we just created. Here's the group. And let's change the group over to textures. The names are fine. So let's go ahead and click OK to all. And that'll import both of those textures into the content browser. We just got to give that a second to go. And... Oh, it's, it's so close to being done, it almost hurts. And there we go. Awesome. So now we have our two textures, and you can see our package now has a couple of groups. Now before I do anything, like you know, lose any work, the next thing I want to do is save my package. So I'm going to click on the Demo Materials package and hit Control s click Save, and there we go. So now we are ready to begin construction of our material. Now in the background, my material editor is still open. So what I'm going to do is select Wallstone Blocks Light, my texture here, go back into the Material Editor, and I want to create a texture sample that will actually allow us to plug this into the Diffuse channel. Now currently, I have hidden out the list of material expressions, so let me go ahead and bring that up so you can see that. Generally, I work with this off, and I'll create a lot of my, uh, my expressions either through hotkeys or by using the right click menu that you see here. Now for a texture, it's very easy. We can just hold down the T key and left click and it'll create a texture sample for us. So now we can just plug this right into Diffuse and check it out. We have a very, very basic material. Really, this is just a texture applied to a surface. This is as simple as it gets. We could put that on a sphere just to kind of show you what it looks like. So let's go ahead and bring in the normal map as well. I'll go ahead and minimize, select the normal map. Remaximize the material editor, hold down T again, and left click. And let's just plug this into normal. And you see we have some bump information. Now if we hold down the L key, over here in the preview window, so put focus in preview, hold down L, you can move the lighting around and really see how that normal map is affecting your bump. Now that's good enough for starters. Uh, this is probably a good place to kind of pause for a moment, um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video. What I want you to do is click on the Apply Changes to Original Material button. And then let's close out of the Material Editor. Now here in the background, I've got this wall that's got my red bricks on it. Let's go ahead and drag this material onto the wall so we can kind of keep track of our work as we go along. We'll close this. Go ahead and save your level and your package, and then we will continue in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.